So you want to know how solar panels work? Well, solar panels function by receiving photons of light energy at various wavelengths, which in turn excite electrons in the semiconductor material, which cross the PN junction to produce an electrical current that compounds when multiple solar cells are wired together in series parallel configuration. You don't actually need to know how solar panels work to figure out how much energy they can make. On average, a single residential rooftop solar panel will produce about two kilowatt hours of electricity per day. You can turn the video off, we're done. Just kidding. Finding out how many kilowatt hours of electricity your entire solar system can produce in a whole month is going to require a little bit of math. Before we get into the fun stuff, it's important to know that there are four factors that will affect the amount of electricity your solar panels produce. And these factors are the amount of sunlight your panels are receiving. Solar panels are rated to produce a given wattage under full sun, but they don't always receive full sun. The amount of sunlight that hits any given panel is determined by how much sun your area gets and any shade that might be present throughout the day. Your solar panel's specific characteristics. Not all solar panels are created equal. They can be made of different materials with different size and efficiency of solar cells using different wiring technologies. For example, nearly all solar panels that get installed on homes are made of crystalline silicon, but some are made using cheaper, lower efficiency multi-crystalline cells, and some are made using extremely high quality monocrystalline cells. There are even new kinds of solar cells called tandems that combine crystalline silicon with a thin film technology like a sandwich. Again, you don't need to know all the technical details, just understand that some solar panels are more efficient than others, and the ultimate measurement is the number of watts they can produce under full sun. The next factor is your roof. South-facing roofs are the ideal place for solar panels, but east and west-facing roofs can be just fine as well. Based on your latitude, panels should be tilted at various angles from the ground, but to keep things simple here, whatever angle your roof is at is probably fine, unless it's flat or basically vertical. The final factor is how old your panels are. Yes, solar panels get affected by age, and they lose a little bit of their ability to produce power as they sit out exposed to the elements. The average solar panel loses about 0.5% of its power generating ability each year, and they end up producing around 88% of their original capacity after about 25 years. Okay, to find out how much electricity your solar panels produce, the two things you'll need to focus on the most here are the peak sun hours in your area and the wattage of the solar panels you're using. To find out the peak sun hours in your state, we have a blog from solarreviews.com linked down below that gives the average daily peak sun hours in all 50 states. Let's plug in some numbers here by looking at an example. Let's say you're a homeowner in Florida, which averages about six peak sun hours each day, and you're installing 400 watt solar panels on your roof. All you're gonna need to do here is multiply the wattage by the peak sun hours. So six times 400 equals 2,400 watt hours of electricity per day. Then all you need to do is convert watt hours into kilowatt hours by dividing your answer by 1,000. After that division, you are left with 2.4 kilowatt hours per day. Now that you know your average output per day, you can figure out how much your panels are producing in a month. 2.4 kilowatt hours times 30 days equals 72 kilowatt hours per month. And you can even take that a step further and multiply 72 kilowatt hours per month by 12 months to get your annual solar panel production of 864 kilowatt hours. Congratulations, you figured out how much energy a solar panel produces. Now just take that number and multiply it by how many panels you have on your roof. If you have, let's say, 20 panels on your roof, that's 1,440 kilowatt hours of electricity production per month. That's enough to nearly or maybe even completely wipe out your electricity bill. Please keep in mind that these numbers are just a rough estimate. The actual amount of electricity your panels will produce over a year will most likely fluctuate heavily over each day or even on an hourly basis. We hope you enjoyed learning. Additional resources mentioned in this video will be linked down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.